Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to share how I meal prep. And you know, living a healthy lifestyle is not always easy. We are super busy nowadays. We have work, we have school, you have maybe children running around. And if you come home, it can take a lot of effort to uh, cook for yourself. So during your meal prep, you prepare all different kinds of foods so you can make really, really easy meals uh, for during the week. Or you can make meals uh, to take with you to work if there are no healthy options over there. There are a couple of really good benefits of meal prepping because it is a huge time saver. If you just take uh, one hour on a Sunday afternoon, you will have food for the rest of the week ready. Um, besides a time saver, it is also a big money saver. If you do all your groceries at once and maybe in the weekend on a local farm, uh, you might get some discount. Uh, you don't waste any food and it is much more cheaper than grabbing food or ordering food during the week. Another really big benefit of meal prepping, and it sounds maybe a little bit strange, but it really helps you control kind of snack attacks. And it manages really when you're hungry, because when you're hungry and you have to start prepping your food, it takes a while and it's most likely you're gonna grab for something easy, quick and unhealthy. But if there are prep meals in the fridge and you're hungry, you open up the fridge and you have meals ready. And then the last uh, benefit is, of course, you only have to clean the kitchen once, which is amazing because I think nobody of us really likes cleaning. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you guys quickly how I prep and how I make my food. Have a base. You can use spinach, arugula, kale or masculine, anything you like. Add a filling, something what's gonna keep you full, makes you energized and which is full of fiber. Go for whole grains like quinoa, red lentil pasta or brown rice. Prepare your favorite veggies. It is winter time so I like to get seasonal vegetables. Give your meal some extra protein. This can be an egg, tofu or grilled chicken. Use a special like avocado, hummus, feta or goat cheese. And last but not least, top your meal with a homemade dressing. Okay, uh, I'm ready to start my meal prep. And the first thing what I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees. This is quite a tough one to cut, but what I normally do is make little rounds and yeah, they're like half an inch thick so I can bake and grill those in the oven later. So the easy thing as well if you are going to meal prep before the week, so on a Sunday, uh, I know a lot of uh, cities and villages have a lot of farmers markets in the weekends so I really like to go to a farmer's market and actually get like the fresh uh, vegetables over there. Okay, the squashes are uh, ready and I'm going to cut the sweet potato. I already washed these and again, these I'm just gonna use with the skin as well. Besides the sweet potatoes, beets are also one of my favorite veggies to meal prep. Peel them and cut them in little pieces. Also, zucchini is a very easy vegetable to cut and to prep. Perfect if you don't have that much time. Okay guys, uh, I uh, cut all the veggies and we are going to prepare them right now. Um, I have a big, uh, big plate and I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here. Then I'm going to add the sweet potato slices. In the middle, I'm going to add a couple of beets. So I'm putting the vegetables, which uh, have to go the longest in the oven, uh, all together so I don't have to switch uh, all the baking plates. And because I still have some space left, I'm going to add the asparagus on this side. 
which don't fit all together. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra olive oil over everything. And there are actually a couple of spices I use uh, during every meal prep and this is obviously pepper, salt. Um, I really like to use some garlic powder. I'm going to put this on the sweet potato and on the asparagus. To keep it organized, I'm just going to prepare uh, all the vegetables at the same time uh, with the chicken and then we're going to put everything together in the oven. So I'm going to put this one away. Okay, we're going to make um, here the other vegetables uh, and this time I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil. I like to use coconut oil with a corn squash because it gives it like a little bit uh, a sweet taste to it. So this is going to go in the oven for about 15-20 uh, minutes and then I'm going to turn them around and we're going to do the other side. Okay, and I'm adding some of the zucchini pieces. There we go. Uh, for the zucchini, I really like to use uh, the spice cumin. And you know, be very creative with this. Um, you can use tons of different spices and it's really a personal taste what you really like, um, like to eat. I am going to put some pepper on the zucchini. I'm going to add some salt as well. And a little bit of garlic powder. There we go. For these I am going to add some thyme. There we go. Uh, I'm also adding some rosemary. There we go. And then this is also ready to go into the oven. Okay, all the vegetables are ready to go into the oven and I'm going to prepare some protein. And I find chicken a very easy and very tasty protein. Uh, it stays well for a couple of days in the fridge, so that's really easy. And um, yeah, it really matches with all kinds of vegetables or uh, grains. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil in here. And I'm going to put organic chicken into the plate. I always try to buy um, free range and um, chicken without any hormones, which are way healthier. I am going to cut a piece of lemon and squeeze these on the chicken. A little bit of pepper and salt. Adding a little bit of thyme. And last but not least, I'm going to add some oregano. There we go. Okay, all the vegetables and uh, the chicken are ready to go into the oven and because everything has uh, to cook uh, for a different amount of times, I'm going to grab my phone and put the alarms on there so I keep on track uh, when I need to get the things out of the oven as well. I set the timer for 15, 25 and 40 minutes later. The note from the beginning is very useful for this. While everything is baking in the oven, we are gonna prep the filling for the meal. One of my favorite is the red lentil pasta. This is grain free and full of fiber. Let this cook for about 8 minutes. Brown rice is a very good base as well. It has the highest amount of vitamin B of all grains. It's easy to use as a base or as a filling for salad or wrap. Something I always make for my meal prep is quinoa. Because besides that is a good filling, it contains a lot of protein as well. And this is very great if you're a vegan or vegetarian. Let this cook for about 15 minutes. 
Okay, uh, everything uh, is in the oven. I cleaned up a little bit and I'm going to make the dressings. Um, I like to make three different dressings into these. Uh, oh. Our first alarm goes off. Um, I have to turn around my accord squash. turned around the acorn squash and um, I took the asparagus also out because they were done already and I'm going to make uh, three different dressings uh, the first one is going to be uh, olive oil tahini then I'm going to make uh, an olive oil uh, mustard Dijon and as you guys can hear I love olive oil and the third one is going to be uh, olive oil with pesto and I really feel that a dressing really makes a salad or a dish because you can completely change up uh, the taste so yeah you can be very creative with this um, as well and I like to make them in these like uh, glass jars and when I'm on the go I take a little plastic one and pour this over my salad later Okay, so all the food is ready. I have my veggies, I have my uh, whole grains, I have my proteins and the dressings. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys quickly what kind of different uh, meals you can make out of this. If you are going to do this at home or if you are going to make any other recipes I shared earlier, then don't forget to tag me or send me pictures because that really gives me inspiration as well and um, yeah, it makes me very happy to see uh, that you guys get inspired and yeah, I feel we kind of motivate each other that way. If you really like this video, give it uh, a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button as well. You can put your notifications on if you don't want to miss out on any other video and then I will see you guys in my next video.